Question 14b. In a certain country, the population of deer was estimated in 1980 to be 150,000. The population growth is given by the logistic equation dp dt is equal to 0.1p multiplied by c minus p over c, where t is the number of years after 1980 and c is the carrying capacity. In the year 2000, the population of deer was estimated to be 600,000. Use the fact that c over p multiplied by c minus p equals 1 over p plus 1 over c minus p to show that the carrying capacity is approximately 1,130,000. My first step was to express the differential equation without using decimals. So dp dt is equal to p outside of c minus p over 10c. This is a separable differential equation. Notice that the numerators of the fractions of both sides contain the variable p. The next step is to take the reciprocal of both sides. So we have dt dp is equal to 10c over p outside of c minus p. And using the given fact in the question, that's c over p outside of c minus p equals 1 over p plus 1 over c minus p, we can express dt dp as dt dp equals 10 over p plus 10 over c minus p. So splitting this fraction up into a sum of two fractions. Multiplying all terms by dp, we have dt is equal to 10 over p dp plus 10 over c minus p dp. Then we can take the integral of both sides. So integrating all terms of the equation, we get t equals 10 ln p minus 10 ln c minus p plus the constant d. And I've used the letter d so as not to confuse it with the letter c here. Now combining the two terms on the right hand side using log laws, since they both involve natural logarithms, t equals 10 ln of p over c minus p plus the constant d. Now when t equals 0, that's the initial population is 150,000, we can substitute t equals 0 and p equals 150,000 into this equation, and we get 0 equals 10 ln of 150,000 over c minus 150,000 plus the constant d, and we'll call that equation number 1. Now, 20 years later, so the year 2000, when t equals 20, the population p equals 600,000. And substituting these two values into the equation, we get 20 equals 10 ln of 600,000 over c minus 600,000 plus d. And we'll call that equation number 2. Next, we're going to solve equations 1 and 2 simultaneously by eliminating d. So equation number 2 minus equation number 1, we get 20 equals 10 ln of 600,000 over c minus 600,000 minus 10 ln of 150,000 over c minus 150,000. And we can divide both sides of the equation by 10 and combine the right hand side terms using log laws. We get 2 equals ln of 600,000 over c minus 600,000 divided by 150,000 over c minus 150,000, since the two terms involving logs are being subtracted. Now raising both sides of the equation to the base e to eliminate the ln, we have e squared is equal to 600,000 over c minus 600,000 multiplied by c minus 150,000 over 150,000. So I've changed the division into a multiplication and took the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now we have 600,000 over 150,000 equals four. So dividing both sides by four, we get e squared over 4 is equal to c minus 150,000 over c minus 600,000. Next we apply cross multiplication, so we're going to make c the subject of the formula eventually. So we have e squared multiplied by c minus e squared multiplied by 600,000 is equal to 4c minus 600,000. Taking the terms involving c over to the left hand side and factorising out c, we get c outside of e squared minus 4 
is equal to 600,000 outside of E squared minus one. So the term's not involved or not involving C are taken over to the right hand side. And then dividing both sides of the equation by E squared minus four, we get C equals 600,000 multiplied by E squared minus one divided by E squared minus four. And that equals 1,131,121.335. Which rounds to 1,130,000 as required.